morning everyone out there today on the 21st of November. Hope you're all okay, staying nice and warm and cosy inside. Today it is Art Party Live, woohoo! And we are going to bring you lots and lots of fun activities for you guys to do right now at home or to store in your brain and you can play them later with your family and your friends or whoever you live with at home today. So there's a few things we need to do. We need to introduce ourselves. So my name is Jo and I work at Grand Junction. Hello. Hi, and I'm Ella and I also work at Grand Junction. Hi, and I'm another Ella and I work for Tie Dye Drama. Hi. Hey everyone. <laughs> so we are very, very lucky today. Our special guest, as she said, is Ella from Tie Dye Drama, who does wonderful workshops in schools and different community spaces all over London and beyond. So I'm going to start by doing a little bit of movement with you. So moving your body. If you're in downstairs, if you're wherever you are at home and you, you can move a few things out of the way so you have a little bit of space, that would be really great but you can also do it in a small space so don't worry and um, we're going to start by moving our bodies and doing a little bit of warm-up then I'm going to do a little bit of a dance and a sort of song with you then we're going to do some storytelling and then Ella's going to do some art with you so I need to tell you in a minute what the sort of art materials you need I have put them on Facebook already they're down below in one of the posts but we will remind you. And then Ella's going to finish off with some fantastic drama games for you all to play now and to play later and for the rest of your weekend. So Ella, what materials do we need for your art activity? Today, we will be making elephants um, because, you know, you've got two Ellas here, so we might as well make some elephants. And we need to give a little shout out to Jo's mum because she actually came up with the idea. So thank you, Jo's mum. You will need one piece of A4 card, some sellotape, a glue stick, some scissors, and a pen. Perfect. Great. So we're all good to go. <laughs> okay. Is everybody ready at home? Are you all ready? Have you got a little bit of space around you? Let's get warm. Now everybody can do this, whether you're two years old or whether you're 92, you can all join in with this. Let's go. Okay. So this game is called Rubber Chicken. So we're going to take your right hand and you're going to shake it five times. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And you have to call out the letters, call out the numbers as well, sorry. Then the other side, one, two, three, four, five. Then this leg, one, two, three, four, five. Then this leg, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do it for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And imagine you've got wet hands and wet feet and you're trying to shake off the water like a dog. Then we'll do it for three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. And then one. One, 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 one. And then to end, we go rubber chicken and you flop that out like a big rubber chicken. Now let's do it all together one more time. some movements this time so we'll do it nice and slowly and we'll learn it all together okay make sure you can see me okay so the first bit goes on the one you jump and on the word jump you're going to do a big jump and you can do any sort of you can do any any jump you want you choose on the one you jump on the two you hop so hop on one leg, hop. Good, let's do that again. On the one you jump, on the two you hop. And then it goes, on the three you boogie woogie. So you boogie woogie means you can do some cool boogie dancing. 
on the three you boogie woogie, on the four you drop, and you can get your hands and bang them on the floor, on the four you drop. The next bit goes high five for five. So if you've got your brother or sister or somebody with you, you can give them a high five, high five for five, or like me, if you're on your own, you can just pretend. High five for five. Then six electric slide. You're gonna do a big, a really cool slide on the floor. Six electric slide. On the seven, you're fine. And on the word fine, you're just gonna do a cool pose like that. I'm fine. Well, I'm not fine. You can choose whatever pose you want. On the seven, you're fine. On the eight, rewind. So you're gonna do the sign for like, rewind. So let's do that all nice and slowly from the beginning. On the one, you jump. On the two, you pop. On the three, you boogie woogie. On the four, you drop. High five for five, six electric slide. On the seven, you're fine. On the eight, rewind. And then we go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna do all different poses on that. So you can copy me if you want or make up your own poses. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Let's do it one more time all together without stopping. Here we go. On the one, you jump. On the two, you hop. On the three, you boogie woogie. On the four, you drop. High five for five, six electric slide. On the seven, you're fine. On the eight, rewind. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Give yourself a really big clap at home and you can write that down you can remember it you can make up your own moves you could add even more numbers on if you want that would be great so i think now it's time to play a little game with some words so who likes making up stories me too so this game is called one word story so I'm going to start with saying a word and then Ella's going to go next with another word and then the other Ella is going to go next with another word and we're going to see if we can make up a story but we haven't chatted about what kind of story it is. We haven't chatted about the characters in our story or where they go or what they like. We're just going to make it up and see what happens. Sometimes this game, we do come out with some very silly and very funny stories. So let's see if we can come up with one today. Once upon a time there was a tiny, teeny, squidgy squirrel. They decided to go on an adventure to a planet called Planet Nut. Can we do one more sentence about our silly story about the squirrel? Okay. Um, when the squirrel arrived, he thought, what type of nuts are there here? <laughs> <laughs> now you guys at home can come up with some other new ideas you can carry on with our story what happened to the squirrel when he got to the nut planet what type of nuts were there on the planet did he enjoy eating them or not did he take them home to earth or not you decide <laughs> Great. Right. so i think we're going to move on to do some fantastic art. So make sure you've got all of that equipment with you or go and grab it now quickly. 
Right, yes, we are now going to do some art and we will be making some elephants. So you've got your card, you've got your glue and your sellotape and your pen and your scissors. So I'm just going to show you some examples first so you know what we're making. We are making little elephant puppets and they could look lots of different ways and then here is a tiny elephant that I made with my son for smaller hands my finger can't really fit in this one <laughs> so the, thir the first thing for you to do is on the bottom of your a4 page I want you to draw around your hand now remember this thumb is going to be your tail so you might want it like that and then your four fingers are going to be the legs so draw that draw around that on the bottom of your card if you've got paint at home you could even just paint your hand and do a handprint on there and then once you've got the shape of your hand you can then start to make the other shapes. So you need a circle for the head and then you need a big ear shape for the ear. So I'll show you what I've done there. Then there's one more shape that you need, which is a rectangle here, a small skinny rectangle. And that is for the back of your elephant for your finger to go through so that you can make the elephant's trunk. So once you've got those shapes, a hand, an ear, a circle for the head and a rectangle. With the rectangle, make sure that it's quite long because you can always trim it down to make it smaller if it's too long. And so then we're just going to cut these out, okay? Now, while you're making your elephant, I want you to be thinking about what you might name your elephant. What kind of character is it? Is it a happy elephant? A grumpy elephant? Is it an elephant that likes to tell jokes? And depending on what colour card and paint you have, you might, I'm making a, a red elephant today with you guys, but you, you, you might make any kind of colour elephant. Yesterday I made a blue elephant. And it would be quite fun to see what other types of animals you might make using your hand and different coloured card. What else could your, your hand make? Could it make some sort of octopus or jellyfish? That could be something that it could turn into. So, I've nearly finished cutting out my shapes. How are you guys getting on? Great, oh great Ella, you've got your hand. So, four, four shapes. So, the next step is you want to turn that hand upside down and you might just want to change the shape of your thumb slightly to make it a bit more like a tail. On this one, I even added some old dried plant stalks and cut them up and stuck them on the end to make a bit of a bushy tail. So you might just want to change the, the, the shape of your thumb a little bit to make it a bit more like a tail. So... There you go. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> So now we need our head. So I want you to get your circle and stick it onto your hand. Great Joe, exactly like that. So you might need your glue for this bit. If you don't have glue, you can always 
fold around a bit of tape and use that instead, but glue makes it a bit more secure, so. There you go. You've got your head on your elephant. Now, the next bit is the ear. And what, what I do, because I, I'm not quite sure how to position it, so I just like flip up the, put a bit of glue on the ear and then flip up that circle and just slide the ear underneath a little bit and get it into the position that looks good. And then you might even want to put a little eye on, on, your, on your elephant so that you can kind of see it a bit better. Start to see the face that you're making. There we go. Great. Oh, that looks great, Ella. <laughs> now, the last bit to this, to this basic shape that you can decorate afterwards, is making the back bit so that your finger can make the nose. So if I show you this one, this one was made for my right hand. So my finger slides through the back like that. But this one was made for my left hand, so my finger will slide through like that. So left hand, right hand, depends which way you've sort of made it. So I'm just going to show you that this is the little loop that you're going to be making to fit your finger through. So you want to tape the top bit of your loop at the top of your elephant's head at the back, and then the bottom bit down there and you want to make sure that your finger can fit through. Now my top tip for this is to get this strap as close to the end of the head as possible so that your elephant trunk can be really long otherwise you end up with a little one and it just doesn't look like an elephant so you want to tape your, your strap like that. I'll just show you what. So there's the top bit that I've put on, and then I'll just fold it up a little bit and I'll just stick the bottom one on like that. And if you need to trim down your rectangle, you can do you can do that as well. So you can see there that my one was maybe a little bit too long. So I might just trim that there so that it fits better. Add some more tape. There we go. Oh, great, Joe! That looks fantastic. Yeah, Ella, great. So we've got our elephants now. What you might notice is that on this elephant, I've added some extra special bits. So I told you a bit about the tail, but at home, you might even want to add a different color for the ear, or you might want to cut a little white tusk out to make it more like an elephant and even draw the feet on a little bit more. So I'm really excited to see what you make at home of your elephants and what you name them so please share them with us on social media tag uh, grand junction w2 and tell us the names of your elephant that you made and what you use that looks so great guys brilliant <laughs> so. Hi, everybody um i think ella i've decided to name my elephant um gerald <laughs> because I just think he looks like a Gerald. <laughs> and Ella, what's the name of your elephant? Well, I think I'm inspired. I, I went a bit wrong with the old finger there, so I'm gonna go for Junior. It's just a little tiny elephant with a tiny trunk. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Ella. They are so brilliant. And you guys can make them for your whole family at home. And you can have a whole family, a whole herd of elephants at home. <laughs> Colour them in and paint them and stick loads of things on them. And they're going to look awesome. Please, please, as Ella said, send them to us. Put them on our social media. We would love to see. 
All right, we are going to move over now to do a little bit of drama with Ella from Tie Dye. Thank you, Jo. Okay, should I get it on gallery view for this one? Yes, here I'll. Okay. Do, do you want? Do Is that you, working? Do we need to oh, yeah. see you close up? Yeah. Um, yeah, all gallery view is fine. Oh, so, okay, cool. Okay. Hi guys. So this game is called Stop Go and it's all about listening. It gets a little bit trickier though, so pay attention. If you can, stand up for this game, but you're fine to sit down as well. Okay. The first set of instructions are stop. And when I say stop, you have to stop. And it can be dramatic, hands up, you could freeze, you might do a facial expression, but you just have to stop. Okay. Try it. Normal. Stop. Excellent. When I say go, you have to go. So just go. Walking on the spot, moving your arms. Yes, Joe, very free. Ella, yeah, shaking your head. Stop. Excellent. Very quick, you two. I wonder if at home you're as quick. Go. Stop. Go. Excellent. Getting the hang of that. Okay, two more instructions. When I say jump, got to jump. When I say floor, touch the floor. So floor. Jump. And if you're feeling a bit lazy like me, you can just whoop, reach your hands in the air there. Okay, stop. Go. Floor. Jump. Okay, you're good at this. Two more instructions. Happy, show me happiness on your face, on your body. Show me that happiness. Happy. Sad, show me sadness. And if at home you want to add some sound effects, you can. <laughs> nice sniffing, Ella. Joe, are you okay? Okay, happy. <laughs> Sad. Stop. Go. I like how Joe froze in a sad face then. Very nice. Jump. Floor. Very good. Two more instructions, okay? Hot. Can you pretend that you're really, really hot? Hot. And again, if you want to add sound effects at home, please do. Oh, cool, blimey. Okay, cold. Show me cold. Really cold. Okay, well done, everybody. Okay, neutral. So just back to a bit of a normal position there. Let's see how quickly you can respond. Okay, stop. Go. Jump. Floor. Hot. Very nice. I'm not showing you this time, so it's tricky. I'm just going to let you listen. Cold. Very good. Happy. Sad. Okay, guys, you're too good at this. We're going to have to spice it up. All right. Ella, are you ready for this? Joe, are you ready? Okay. It's now opposite land. Ooh, it's topsy turvy. Everything is back to front. So now, when I call out stop, I really want you to go. When I call out go, I really want you to stop, okay? So when I say jump, I really mean floor. And when I say floor, I really mean jump. So everything is opposites. So instead of hot, when I say hot, I don't want you to do hot, I want you to do cold. And when I say cold, I want you to do hot, okay? Happy is now sad and sad is now happy. Everything is opposite, okay? Thumbs up if you are understanding this so far. Very good. Okay, let's see if at home you can do this too. So remember, it's opposites. Okay, everyone? Go. Joe and Ella, very good. Very good. Go. Go. Stop. Nice. Happy. Sad. Amazing. Jump. Very good. You're going on the floor. Floor. Sad. Stop. Nice, guys. So there's a bit of a moment of hesitation from Ella there. She went on for it. Okay, cold. Oof, cold. Nice. That one's confusing, isn't it? Hot. Okay, a few more. Stop. Go. 
jump. And last one, sad. Woohoo! Okay, guys, round of applause, pat on the back there. Ella and Joe, very, very speedy. Good, I'm very impressed. Okay, guys, this is a game called Who Am I? So I'm going to share my screen and you are going to see a picture. Ella and Joe, can you see that? Thumbs up. Excellent. So we've got a picture, lots of different people, quite a busy scene here. And the game is all about who am I? I am going to act out one of the characters in this picture. I'm going to add some sound and Ella and Joe are going to guess who I am. We'll then take it in turn so they're going to pretend to be a character as well. So for example, I'll give you an explanation, a little demo. If I was choosing to be this guy here, see in the top right, he's running for the bus and I think he looks quite panicked, so I might do this. Oh, no! And Ella and Joe guess, uh, is it that guy? And I say, yes. Okay, right, I'm gonna get to character here. Who am I gonna be? Okay, I'm ready. Can you count me in actually guys? Can you say three, two, one, action? Three, two, one, action. Oh my gosh, this is really heavy, but I'm doing it now, so I need to pretend that I can do it. Hey, guys, who am I? Are you the man who is up on the first floor of the building. And I think he's in the gym and he's holding some weights like this and he's got a yellow t-shirt on. Yes, love the descriptive language there, Joe. Correct, I'm on the first floor, I'm wearing that yellow vest and I'm pretending that I can lift those weights, but I think it's actually a bit difficult. Whew. Okay, good job, Joe. Can you pick a character, please? Yes, yes I can. Okay, should we count you in? Yes, please. Okay. Three, two, one, action. Hot dogs, hot dogs, one dollar. They're just one dollar. Come and get your hot dogs. <laughs> oh, good. Ella, got any guesses for that one? I think it would have to be the man at the bottom of the screen, Joey, the hot dog salesman. <laughs> I think I might have given it away by saying hot dog. <laughs> I love Great the really <laughs> And it's Joe, Joey, you know, I like it. Okay. Right, Ella, time for you to choose a character. Hmm. Okay. Okay, should we count you in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three. Three, two, one, one. Action. action. Taxi! <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> oh gosh, they're quite desperate as well, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> quite eager. Really um, important meeting that I'm late for there. Oh my gosh, well I hope you get there. That taxi looks like it's stopping. Okay, are you wearing a purple jumper and some blue jeans and some yes, blue jeans? Yeah. Looks like you're holding a very important green folder. Yeah, it's oh, got yeah. everything in it. <laughs> the Grand Junction meeting. <laughs> oh, I like this game, guys. You have one more round, actually. Okay. Yes, please. I like how, Joe, you've got a bit of an accent going on, and Ella, you incorporating some emotion. So I might try that with mine now. Okay, I'll go again. Um, right, can you count me in, guys? Three, Three two, one, action. Here you go, my dears. Eat up. Ah, here you go. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. Go on. <laughs> Are you that lovely older person sitting on the bench by the fountain? I am. Um, feeding yeah. the pigeons? <laughs> yeah, and at home actually, you might want to even develop a bit of a story about your character, just like Ella was saying about theirs was going to a meeting. So you might even want to write down a little script or a little descriptive story. Yeah, so these birds for me, I come here every day. I've been to this park for what, you know, every day for 25 years and these birds are my friends. So that's the story. <laughs> okay, Joe, over to you. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. 
Let's count her in. Three, two, one, action. Oh, what's the time? Oh, God, I've been here all morning and this hole's not getting any deeper. I'm exhausted. Oh, my back is killing from all this digging and I, I'm just looking at my watch because I just want to go home for my lunch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Ella. Are you the man in the hole in a white vest and a yellow hard hat? <laughs> Yeah. Well done, that's a very big hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are you digging to? What's going on? To Australia. Oh, nice. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ella, the last character. Oh, okay. All right, I've got it. Okay, let's count you in. Three, two, two one. Do I have shoes that will go with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if it's my no. style, but I do like the colour. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I, can I have a guess? Are you wearing a pink T-shirt with some high-waisted purple trousers? Behind the taxi, actually. Yes. Maybe I know the person running for that taxi. Oh, okay, yeah. I think we, I think you were eyeing up that purple beret to wear with, to match your trousers. <laughs> Fashionista, what can I say? <laughs> nice one, guys. So yeah, everyone at home, you could just type in busy picture or busy scene and get up a picture like this and play this game at home and have some fun with it. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Uh, I think we've got time for one more game, guys. Yeah. Yes, please. Thanks, Ella. Okay, this game, I've got some very handy props with me here, some visuals. So this is called Guess the Emotion. So I've got a list of emotions here just to help us out. But if you've got other emotions you're thinking of, perfect. But this might just give you a little hint. So we are each going to take it in turns to pick an emotion. Okay, we're not going to tell anyone. We're just going to think of it in our head. So for example, I might pick happy, then... The rest of the group are going to suggest different verbs for me to act out this emotion. So if I picked happy, Ella might call out sleep and I'd go <sighs> and I'll act it out. We'll do a few of those and then when Joe and Ella feel ready they're going to guess the emotion. Okay, thumbs up, you clear on that one guys? Perfect, all right. I'll start us off. So I'm going to pick my emotion. Okay, I've got one. And again, so these are the verbs, these are doing words. You can pick one on here, you can pick your own. Joe, do you want to suggest a doing word for me? Um, I would like you to do some um, eating, please. Oh, I'll do a bit of sound. Go on, Ella, pick, pick another verb for me. Oh, uh, can you uh, dance? <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling a little bit angry, Ella? I am. Oh, I am no. Why are you angry? Oh, well, it's funny you ask, actually. Um, I've had to go to this disco, and I hate discos, but my friends made me go, and I'm a bit embarrassed, and there was a cafeteria just next door, and they didn't have the crisps I wanted. And I went everywhere, and I, I didn't like them. That's yeah. annoying. I can see why you're cross, actually. Let's just calm myself down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like that, Joe. If you can come up with a, a reason why you're feeling that way and why you're doing that, in that manner, even better. Okay, Ella, do you want to pick an emotion? It could be one on here or a different one. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Okay, go on, Joe. Give her a verb. Um, Ella, I would like you to do some um, sewing, please. <laughs> Wow, I 
love it. Um, okay, I think I'd like you, Ella, to do, um, can you do some swimming like this, please? <laughs> Oh, I'm born actually, Joe. Are you? I've got a few emotions. Um, I I think Ella was a bit shocked. <laughs> oh, no. It was the big mouth. <laughs> Maybe. <Maybe. gasps> At first, I thought it was amazement. It's very hard to sew and swim and be shocked. <laughs> what was um? Why were you shocked when you were sewing? What happened? I think that maybe. I used to be a cat and I was just shocked that I was a person suddenly sewing and, and swimming and you know, <laughs> I don't normally like water. So I was just really shocked. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Blame you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Joe, you pick an emotion, please. Yep, got one. Okay. Ella, you want any verb suggestions for you? Um, could you run, please, Joe? Yeah, I think I might stand up for this one. Ooh, okay, like it. <laughs> oh, I think I know. Okay, oh, one more. Can you can you cook like this, Joe? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, Ella, what do you think? Are you, are you confused, Jo? <laughs> I'm terribly confused. What was confusing about the running? How come? Well, um, I was just confused because I, t I ended up, I didn't know where I was going. I think I turned a corner and I was confused because I think I was a bit lost and I didn't recognise where I was. Um, and I was cooking with some crazy vegetables that I'd never seen before, so I was a bit confused. Oh, fair play. My gosh. <laughs> okay, guys, so at home, you can write up your own emotions like that, your own verbs, and guess away. And that is the end of the drama games. Thanks, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much um, to everybody at home that's been watching and enjoying our November art party. Um, some of you might have known that we were supposed to be at Grand Junction right now doing a proper show in person in our amazing space live for you. Unfortunately, because of the um, current restrictions, we weren't allowed to do that. So we're really glad we could do this for you today. But don't worry, we are going to be doing another show in January. So please sign up to our newsletter um, on our website and follow us on all of our social medias and you will know about when the tickets come out in the end of January. So thank you again. A really, really special thank you to Ella from Tie Dye Drama who's um, joined us today with some brilliant games. I really hope you can use them again today and, and use them tomorrow with your families because it's quite hard at the moment. We're all still a little bit stuck at home. But um, yes, have a great rest of your day and we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye everyone.